Let's take you now to Josini, where residents have been struggling for decades for, to get drinking water. The far northern KwaZulu Natal rural area's water woes have led to the national government intervening through the relevant department. Today, the district uh, mayor, uh, Sipile Mdaka, is addressing the challenges and outlines the, the short term solutions. Dando Mnyandu is in Josini and joins us now. Dando, a very good afternoon to you. What's happening there? What is the outcome? Well, good afternoon to you and to all viewers. Uh, what has been happening since the morning uh, today was that we spoke to the uh, uh, mayor of Mukanya with the district municipality about the issue and the backlog of uh, the rollout uh, for water in uh, chosen area. As you know, that the area is in close proximity to the biggest, uh, uh, I think it's the second biggest dam, uh, uh, or the fifth biggest dam in Africa, uh, which is Josini Dam, but communities here still scramble for water. But what has been at the heart of those issues is that there were some major projects that were rolled out as early as 2011 and 2012, where the municipality saw, uh, uh, you know, uh, a procurement of at least 9,000 uh, uh, underground pipes that were destined uh, to be used to, try to, to, to pump water from uh, the Chosini Dam uh, to a nearby water scheme all the way uh, through uh, 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 the communities of Kwakeleza all the way to Kwajobe uh, 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 ending up in Guamshabialingana. But that program, uh, 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 you know, did not bear much of the fruit as these pipes, as I allow my colleague uh, Lungelo Zungu to give you a glimpse of the pipes we are talking about. So the pipes that are currently being, uh, uh, you know, laid on, 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 on the ground uh, are pipes that were pro procured uh, some uh, uh, 10 years ago, you know, and they, were, they ended up not being used uh, 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 to, uh, uh, you know, uh, leading to effect of uh, some of these pipes' uh, integrity being compromised. But what we are seeing now is that uh, they are now being laid on the ground as they will be pumping water to communities that uh, so much need water. But the question remains, why so many pipes were pro procured and uh, the water project did not uh, uh, fly. Uh, right now, I'm joined by the mayor, uh, the district mayor of uh, Umkanyagute district municipality, Obaba Ospile Mdaga. Baba Mdaga, thank you very much for the opportunity. We see that you are hard at work. Let's uh, start uh, at the beginning. You procured 9,000 pipes uh, to a tune of just over a million rands, but those pipes are only being used now. Why? Well, uh, in, in 2012, there was a decision uh, to build the state-of-art plant just outside the dam, as we have already alluded to the fact that Chosini Dam is the fifth largest dam in the country. Uh, there was a decision to build the 40 megaliter plant, and out of that, uh, we were going to provide communities around Chosini, but by extension, all the way to some sections of Umshabia Lingana, which is Mbazwan. The work of construction of the state of art plant uh, commenced in 2011, 2012. During the same period, this pipe was secured. By 2016, the plant called the Tobotini was completed and commissioned, of which we do have a 40 mega state of art plant just outside Chosini which purifies water every day. So the next project was then to pipe this water to surrounding communities as I've already alluded all the way for about 49 kilometers to the other side of Umtabiyalingan. Then there were delays specifically on this project of piping this uh, bark water, cleaned water However, when we came into office in 2022, one of our priorities was to make sure that this project kicks in. Fortunately, when we did our assessment in terms of the conditions of this material, which was procured in 2012-2013, all our engineers, independent engineers, confirmed that the material, almost 80 to 90 percent, was still in good condition. Here I'm talking about 9,000 steel pipes. As you can see now, we started this project 
Last year, we have already laid this pipe for about 15 kilometers. But I must qualify this as we lay the pipe and we charge it. In areas where we have charged water in, in that particular pipe, we are starting reticulation so that we don't wait for 49 kilometer pipe before we can distribute water or we can do reticulation to our people. In closure, what influenced the delays, uh, Bob Mayor, so that the people of Josini are putting in confidence, into confidence that they will eventually get water? What influenced the delays that you inherited as you came into office? Well, I, I, I have to clarify this. There's been a lot of reticulation projects that have been done in the area. However, on this specific project, there were issues of design, there were issues of sourcing of funding, which compromised the processes. Hence, when we came into office, we had to understand the background, we have to understand the work that has been done before us, but we had to short-circuit the process. I mean, you, you can't delay the processes of providing water. Hence, when we took a decision that this must be uh, closed, we did that. The council support us. The Department of Water and Sanitation supported us. Here we are now. We are laying down the pipe. We hope within a period of two years from now, we shall have almost done 80% of laying down this pipe so that our people in the areas where they still struggle with water, they are able to get good and clean water next to their doorstep. Thank you very much, Bob Mayor. Thank you very much. Well, that is Sipile, that is Sipile Mdaga, the mayor of Umkanyagute District Municipality, saying that these pipes will run a course of about uh, 49 kilometers from Otobotini water scheme all the way to uh, areas such as Wajobe, uh, leading all the way up to areas of Umshabia Lingana. With that, it's back to you in studio. Very well, and then Domyandu, we leave it there for now as